We're joined on Wisconsin.golf by Martha Nowsey here at the LPGA Legends Tournament outside Phoenix. And Martha, um, you were kind of in it going into today, weren't you? I mean, just it, 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 you had a great round yesterday. What did it feel like going out there today, you know, trying to maybe, you know, make a run on, on that top of the leaderboard? Because you weren't far off, were you? No, I wasn't. And, you know, it seems like that's been my trend in the last several years. And, you know, one first round you know pretty solid and then I just qu can't quite get it going the second round so I don't know this game's a crazy game and you know we don't get to compete as much as we'd like um, so you kind of get out of the routine but you know do the best you can. I was just curious how much golf have you played recently and what is it like getting back on that competitive you know golf bike again and and trying to you know lock it in and, and make birdies? It's, um, I haven't played a lot of competitive golf. My last tournament, uh, my last two tournaments was one in October and one in December, and and then nothing till that till now. And it's hard, you know, it, the competitive mindset is, you have to practice that as well. And you get in, when you're doing it all the time, you get into a rhythm and, you know, you kind of know what to expect. And it's easier to be resilient and patient, but um, when it's every once in a while, it's a, it's a little harder. Was it, what was the key then yesterday? I mean, that was a pretty good start, and you know, coming out of not playing for a while, what, what, uh, you know, what got you going yesterday? I saw that you had a good start, obviously, and then, and then uh, after some, you know, bumpy part of the back nine, you finished strong again. Well, the first two holes, I had tap ins for for birdies, so that you know that gets you going and you feel good. Um, but I putted really well. When I missed a green, I chipped pretty well yesterday. I mean, I made four bogeys yesterday, but I made six birdies. Mm -hmm at 25 putts. So today I probably had about 34 putts. So, you know, there you go. There's 10 shots right there. And was it any different mindset wise coming out today? What was, uh, you know, after after playing so well yesterday, I'm sure you, all of a sudden you, st you maybe start to, you know, you know, pump up the expectations again, don't you? Of course, that's why we're here. You know, we're here to uh, try to win. Yeah. And it's, um, you gotta find, everybody's gotta find their level of how much they, press or relax or and you know like I said when you don't play when you don't compete a lot that's hard to find and hard to maintain what was it uh, today I mean you have, I, I saw your, your your first birdie you told me and uh, and then anything else out there uh, come close to you know replicating the magic of yesterday well I hit a couple shots close for birdies you know close enough that I yesterday I was making them I didn't make those I hit um, the other par five and two had a about a 20 footer for eagle and i three putted so um that sort of let the wind out of the sails there um, i just was struggling i just you know nothing was sharp mm -hmm. and i really didn't hit the ball great yesterday mm -hmm. um, but it didn't really hurt me and then i putted so well so um you know the mindset is always to just try to make as many birdies as possible but doesn't always happen. <laughs> do you walk away though from this week with a good taste in your mouth being the first event and, and having some you know decent moments? Um, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I didn't really I really never felt like I was in the rhythm sure. and today without putting well I, you know it, it showed in the score. But sure. I mean I know that it's there yeah. so I guess yes I have to right. have some positivity right. um, so I know it's there it's just a matter of getting it together at the right time. Definitely. And now, you know, since we talked last, uh, uh, a Legends Tour event coming to Wisconsin, which has to be exciting for you. Did you know about it, uh, that, that this was, you know, coming down the pike? And uh, what did it mean when you heard the announcement that Lake Geneva was going to host one of these? Well, I heard about it, um, oh, a few months ago. Sure. And I think it's awesome. I'm looking forward to getting back to Wisconsin and, you know, having some good vibes there and I mean there are a lot of Wisconsin people out here which was really fun um, so I'm looking forward to it and and I will get a chance to play a tournament right before that okay. up in Minnesota so sure. maybe my uh, my maybe my uh, competitive game will be back by then <laughs> is it uh, what can uh, Wisconsin fans expect I mean walking out here today very laid back but uh, and, and but the a lot of the gals out here aren't you know this isn't cutthroat anymore yet you expect to play well it's kind of that balance uh, what, what can we expect when the the tour comes to Wisconsin well I think the 
the thing about the Legends Tour is, you know, we're, none of us are really doing it for our living anymore. And we're doing it more because we enjoy it. Sure. <laughs> we're supposed to enjoy oh, yeah, that's right. it. So we can, you know, it is easier to be a little more relaxed and have a little more fun. But make no mistake, everybody is trying as hard as they can. And even though it may not look like people are quite as intense, right. ev everybody's out there uh, putting their best foot forward and they're going to they're going to see some good golf and uh how much time will you spend uh, more out here before you head back to the midwest and uh uh is there is there a, can you stay sharp just playing you know when the when the desire hits um well that's the challenge yes. um i'll be here until the end of april okay. or probably very early may sure. um and i will keep going with my game i have some tour friends out here mm -hmm. that I get together with and, and uh, play some matches and things so that helps sure. so I'm gonna have to round them up a little more than I did maybe <laughs> leading into this <laughs> but yeah I think you know we'll see what happens who are some of those gals and, and what what sort of things do you play for and how how competitive are those well Anne Marie Polly um, Ellie Gibson Sherry Turner um, those are my my three buddies out here and uh, you know we play for a couple bucks but you know playing with your peers for a couple bucks is yeah. still you're still working at it martha this at this stage in your career does it need to be able to sit back and reflect I, it doesn't sound like you you give yourself much opportunity to do that because you're still out you know whether it's in, in one of these recreational rounds with these gals or or out in the legends tour you know i, I mean but do you is it kind of amazing how far you've come in this game <laughs> you know when i stop to look look at it yeah it is and I feel really grateful for all the opportunities I've had and you know all the people that have helped me along the way so sure. um, I still feel like I I'm still working at it yeah. not as intensely as I used to right. but I still have the desire to be the best I can and um, yeah it's fun. Well Martha it's great to see you again uh, good luck as you uh, continue the build up to Lake Geneva and uh, hope you play well there. Thanks a lot hope to see you there. Thank you.